We are having some really bad uh, fires in Oregon and Washington right now, which is why it's so hazy out. There's smoke everywhere. Um, yeah, it's uh, really bad. It's really terrible. Anyhow, um, I got a lot further today than I thought I would. My original plan was to just uh, get all the wheel clearances cut out and then weld tomorrow. As you can see here, well, that's, that's kind of a side profile, but check this out. Look at all that clearance. And I measured with a tire on and it's five inches from the top of the tire to the bottom of the bed. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got a lot of clearance. Uh, it's the perfect width, which I really, uh, really like. And um, it's coming along. I welded all the touch points uh, today on the cross beams. Yesterday when it was hot out, uh, the center of the bed was probably half an inch off of these beams, but overnight when it cooled down, um, I don't know, metal contraction or whatever the case may be, everything settled where it was supposed to sit. So uh, it got cool at night, it was probably 50 degrees. And I'm, contrib I'm attributing that to the fact that the bed is now relaxed and in its proper position. Um, you can look on this side and then the other side and there's still a half inch difference. But, um, I mean, as far as, as that goes, it's noticeable a bit, but I don't know, not really. At this point, I'm, I'm just happy that the bed relaxed and it settled and um, there's still a little bit of an error half inch on the front and half inch on the rear but you know I'm not gonna be nitpicky about it I went through and stitch welded uh, the rear I think it's five spots there one two three four five six seven seven spots so I did that and then all right all the way around the side and to the back and then I did the stitch welds on this side as, as well well not stitch welds but just basically went through and anywhere it touched I ran a weld on all that metal up front here I ran some pretty big welds some big beefy welds on this main beam so that's gonna be all dialed in and on the underside of both of them as well so yeah we're coming along here um, I got a lot further today, like I was saying, than I thought I would. So tomorrow, I think what we're going to do is start getting the ramps set up and reinforce the back of the, the bed here for the ramps. Get those dialed in. And then uh, we'll probably start welding on uh, marker light, those little cutouts that I did. And there's not much left after that maybe um up front here i can get the buyer buyer's boxes mocked up i'm thinking of taking another piece of that angle that i have and uh running it along here so that the buyer's boxes sit flush with the top of this wall here that will give me space for my spare tires right underneath so i'll have a spare tire here and a spare tire here <coughs> I thought that would be a pretty neat option. And then I'll weld some D-rings or something to go like through the center and then ratchet right in the middle. I think that would be a pretty cool uh, place to, to store the spares and it'll add a little bit of tongue weight. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that game plan goes. But I got lots of, uh, lots of space inside here to uh, Maybe get some bolts through those buyer's boxes so they're bolt on. And then I'll, when I paint the truck, I'll paint, you know, the trailer and then the boxes separate and then mount everything up. That way there's no, you know, spots that I missed. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'll miss some spots, but it won't be as dramatic. So, 
I took the little cutoffs from the end there and I just welded them on to where the trailer jacks go for added support and it looks kind of neat, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, as far as today's episode goes, guys, I think that's going to be it. If you guys like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. You're going to want to check out the channel. Stay tuned to the channel for this uh, upcoming episode we're going to have where we take Rusty out and try him, drive him around, break in the motor, all that good stuff. Um, also going to do an episode on how much he weighs and how much the trailer weighs because we got a weigh station that's really close by. So I'm thinking I'm going to weigh both of them and that'll be in an up upcoming episode. Leave me a guess down in the comments of how much you think Rusty weighs. I'll give you a couple hints. The stainless steel that's on there, there's 650 pounds of stainless steel on there for paneling. Um, and I'll give you another guess. The combined weight of those tracks is probably a thousand pounds. Or another tip, I guess I sh should say. So let me know down in the comments what you think Rusty weighs. And uh, when we go to the weigh station, We'll see which one of you is correct. It'll be like the price is right. But other than that, guys, I hope you're staying safe, taking care of each other, and as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.